doing? Thanks for joining me. Welcome back. So today I wanted to go ahead and talk to you, um, do a get ready with me, just a little small one. I'm not going to make it real long or anything like that. Um, but this is the Tarte Showstopper uh, Clay Palette. It's the newer palette that they just came out with. Um, and it's one of their rounded um, palettes. And I picked this up. You'll be seeing a haul video for me. And of course, this will more than likely be in the haul because this they is one of the come out with I these palettes up. each year. Um, and they're a really nice compact to take with you anywhere, definitely. It comes with the six eyeshadows and a brush in the middle, and then it has a bronzer and then a highlight. So you pretty much have your whole um, face on the look and here, have everything here. You can um, do your cool tones, like there's some cool tones here. And then you can go over here and get some more of a warmer tone. So you could do like a daylight, daytime look with these, and then maybe evening time. It Pretty much it's up to you, obviously. Like this darker color you can use as an eyeliner if you want to. Um, I use this kind of sort of as a highlight, the um, above the brow, um, above the brow, below the brow. <laughs> I know you Don't might want these really. shades, they're all more neutral shades, but there's some um, coppers and rose toned colors in here, um, and it, it's a really nice palette. So, um, which it does come with the paper that has the names on it, which is kind of, I will say, it is a bummer that they don't put it on the palette itself, like on the palette somewhere itself or something. Because um, every time I'm finding when I'm opening this up, like I did with my other one, which I lost my other one now, um, the paper to it, is um, it will, as soon as I open, it, open this up, it will come flying out every single time on the floor. Um, that's and like you know, it does come with a nice big mirror. Um, the casing is really nice. Like I said, it's nice golden um, casing. This I haven't gotten the previous other ones. There is other ones out there, and I never got the. Uh, this is the one I ones. first got. This is their very very first one, which is called Romancing the Glow, I think. Uh, palette, and this was their very first one. I got it from the Q Q QVC, which my fingerprints on that and it was made out of like bamboo wood I think if I'm not mistaken and this one had like a pop of a blue color in it um, and you can see I've used it a, a good bit so this is the one that I do have that was the first one and then now I got the new one so you know I mean you could take them both with you if you wanted to like if you're like me and you have a couple of them and it gives you, you know, you can work with each one with the other, you know, kind of a thing. So let's do, of course, the bronzer is the Park Avenue Princess. Right here, that's Park Avenue Princess, which I'm sure you guys all see in the bronzer. Um, and then this is like a pink, uh, pink champagne. It's a really nice highlight. I really like this one. I think this one is more nicer than the other one that I have. Um, so, as soon as the glare stops, there's the bronzer and highlight right there. Very nice, as you can see. That highlight is very, very nice. The blush in this palette is called Fame, and it is of a nice orangey, peachy, corally color. So, and you know me, I love their blushes. So there it is right there. Very pigmented, as you can see. Nice orangey color. Obviously, you're not going to put that much on your cheeks. But there you go. <laughs> but like I said, obviously you're not going to. That's why you just need a light hand when you're dabbing in there. But that's the color there. This here is Show, show Stopper Copper. Show stopper copper. 
This one here is Go For Gold. Go for gold. Your uh, natural is right here, which that is definitely a matte shade. It seems like it's the only matte shade in the whole palette, to be honest. The other ones are more shimmer and satin. Okay, there's still the scene. I'm having problems. There's some the eyeshadow colors there, which that's the Showstopper Copper. Go for gold. You're a natural. And the steel one. What's that one called? Steal the scene. So there's the colors there. You can see the first two are really shimmer, like sheen. Rose to the top. It's a beautiful rose gold color. So it's rose to the top. And dim the lights. I should know these because I was playing with them earlier, so and the other day, so there's dim the lights. That's gorgeous rose gold color. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Isn't that pretty? And look how dark dim lights is. Is that like just not insanely crazy? That is really crazy. Very pigmented, um, very nice as you can see. I think it's a really good palette, you know, like overall with the colors and and everything. Um, I, I think it's a really good palette. I haven't had any problem with any of them. I know in the, was it the, um, the other one that came out, After Dark, the After Dark one. A lot of people were having problems with a certain shade because it wasn't picking up good and they had to work through to kind of get the product, you know, the product itself. So I think this is a really good palette. I mean, the, uh, the shadows are really good. They're really pigmented, very soft, very buttery. They worked well. They blended well for me. Um, so I would highly say yes if you are a Tarte lover, never tried Tarte, this would be a great palette to pick up for the first time if you've never tried Tarte because you're going to get to try several different things, their shadows, um, and which they're good quality in this palette. Um, there's a, you know, they get to try their blush, the bronzer, the highlight, so you'll get to try several different things in this palette. Um, but, and if you're a collector like me or just whatever in general, then yeah, you might want to pick it up or if you're collecting these palettes also. I know some, um, it's just a thick collection thing too that they just like to have the eat. If I had to pick series, out of the two, um, I would probably say the new, this one here, I would say I like a little bit better than this one. Like this one is nice. I like the colors and I love that pop of blue, definitely. But if I had to pick, it would definitely be this one. I really like this one. So yeah, stay tuned. I'm gonna do just a quick get ready with me. I'm not gonna make it real long or anything like that. So hope you found that ready with me. And um, go ahead and stick around if you'd like to. Uh, if you don't wanna see the get ready with me, that's fine. You know, if you just wanted to hear more about the review of the palette. Um, but if you want to stick around and watch me, get ready with me. Um, so alright, I'll see you back in a bit. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and uh, do a technique that i seen Wayne Goss do. I'm not sure how I'll be able to do it because I might have to do it freehand. Because he was showing a way that you could do it with a piece of... Um, you know, cloth, uh, cardboard paper, but you know, something in the long lines of angling it. So like if you have hooded eyes, um, you know, or you, like you just want to make it, like as we get older, like things, of course, droopy down. So he was saying about, you know, like looking straight ahead, keeping your eye open and um, maybe I'll do this freehand. And you could go straight ahead. So I'm going to mark the areas because he said you could put like a little dot in the areas that you'll want. So 
I put a little dot. Can you see that right there? Okay. And then I'm going to look. And this is the part I might have a problem with. Okay. So I made the markings. <laughs> <laughs> Looks so funny right now, but made the markings. I'm going to go ahead and move that about. Now, this is Showstopper Copper that I'm putting on. It's the first color that comes in the it's on this side here. Forgot to point that out. Take this really deeper shade here, and that one is called. I have that paper here. <laughs> I hate that you have to keep looking at the paper though. Dim the lights. And I'm just going to do define just a little bit. So I'm going to start about right here and work my way in. Hopefully you can see that. I'm not going to show you when I do the other eye. I'm just going to do the one eye because I'm practicing at this technique that Wayne's talking about. So... Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to go back into the, what is it called? Shopper Copper? Showstopper Copper. I'm going to go back into Showstopper Copper right there. Okay, my husband brought me some coffee. So, whoop whoop for coffee. Lizzie whoop whoop. <laughs> okay, so I got that part right there done on the outer edge and in the crease somewhat. Go for gold. <laughs> Wait, I'll get it right. I'm going to put that a good bit on the eyelid itself. We're going to pack that baby on there. I'm going to put, use one of these brushes here. I always like these big, flat brushes to use. And, uh, pack any excess off. This is a really nice, uh, color combination in, in this palette, I think. highlight color, um, the pink champagne. I'm going to take that and work it from the inner corner and go in just a little bit to highlight the area. So I'm going to work in the inner and work inward here. Uh, you're a natural is the matte one. Okay, that one there. Use that as a transition. And I think this is my e.l.f. blending brush. I'm going to dippy do in there. Stop the copper just a little bit more. Use Mally's. Uh, fluffy brush here and kind of blend everything in. I might do the go for gold a little bit more in the center, but I just want to blend these colors out first. 
Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do my liner now because I did manage to get, uh, get the other side on, so I'm going to do my liner. favorite blues to use is Mally's um, Evercolor Starlight Waterproof Liner in Brazen Blue. Oh, is this color just so pretty. It's like a cobalt blue color. That I'm going to put in the waterline. Right next I'm going to do my lashes which the lashes I'm going to do, um, I need to get another one of my Butterfly Intenza, um, pretty much gone through it, I think it's pretty much past the three months or whatever it's supposed to be, so um, I have been using the Lorac uh, Cobra Mascara, which, I, which is actually quite nice, um, but it's more lengthening, and I'm going to use the Lights Camera Flashes from Tarte. I've had this. I ordered it and got it a while back ago and just now I'm going to be getting ready to use it. So, but I'm going to use my Cobra first, which the wand is really neat on that one. It's really, you know, like a Cobra head. Now I'm going to go ahead and bronze with the bronzer that comes in it, the Park Avenue Princess, I believe is what it's called. Let me double check to be sure, but I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. Yep, Park Avenue Princess. Then I'm going to use the Tarte uh, blush, blush Brush and go into Fame. Where, um, a lot of times theirs is Pretty Pigment. to the pink champagne highlight. It's a real pretty highlight. I like it. I want to blend everything in. Here's my Fergie take on the day mattifying powder which I love this stuff I'm going to repurchase another one I just love how it sets everything it just really is phenomenal I'm going to line my lips with Jordana Easy Liner for Lips in Baby Berry Buxom's Wesley. It was from that kit. I don't know if this is a limited edition one or what for sure. I'm also gonna say something like donuts. Donuts. Like yummy. But donuts. Now I'm gonna change my outfit and everything and I will be back. Anyway, this is the overall look that um, I did with it and I do like it. Um, I think it is a really good palette. I do like how Wayne Goss, um, the technique. If you haven't seen that video, I'm going to put the links down below 
on the two techniques that he was saying about with hooded eyes and just in general um, eyeshadow, uh, eyeshadow anyway, applications. Then, I hope um, you enjoyed this review and then I get ready with me of the uh, Tarte Showstopper palette. Um, and if uh, you do want to get it, I would probably highly recommend getting it now because you know how it is with some of these palettes like this, they can go pretty quickly, but this one I really like, and I don't know, it just kind of called my name, and I wanted to give it a go, so yeah. So thank you very much, and um, if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I would so muchly appreciate it. If you are not subscribed to my channel, I would so love to have you, and go ahead and click that subscribe button. And as always, beauties, please remember to be yourself. Love yourself and let the real beauty shine through. Until the next time, go take care.